Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today we're going to be talking about this thing. This is the Mortis and Tenon jig from Trend. Oh, you're back. Oh, sorry, just having a cup of tea. This is the Mortis and Tenon jig for Trend. Now, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. I've had this jig in my workshop for quite a number of years, and I've never really used it that much, um, as in being used in the workshop, as you can see. It's like brand new nearly but uh, I've had the occasion just recently to go and actually uh, use it again and uh, I've had a sh you know wanted a new shop stall in my in my workshop so with that this is the one that I used to have um, it's made of metal and well the legs are anyway and I put a new top on it because the top became very very ragged um, you know so I made a new top and put one on there and it served me well over the last few years you know and it's it's been an invaluable thing in my shop but it wasn't tall enough um, for me to actually use so here's the upgrade this is my new shop stall and as you can see, it's completely made out of wood. This is a hardwood. Don't ask me what species it is because I haven't got a clue. To me, it's just brown. Um, the top is a um, softwood on the top here, but uh, that's quite a nice thick slab of softwood that's on the top, so it gives you a nice flat surface to actually sit on. Um, but all the rungs, as you can see here and here, all the rungs, all the way round, are all mortise and ten tenon into the legs. Now, obviously, mortise and tenon is not a, an easy thing to create, but the jig allowed me to make those tenons very, very easily. And as you can see by via the uh, stool itself the legs are not straight up and down they are actually out on all four sides now to create that you need compound angles and this jig helped me to create those angles perfectly which you won't be able to do on it well you could do it but it's very very hard to actually achieve that any other method so what I'll do is I'll spark up the uh, overhead camera and uh, we can have a closer look at this jig. Right, here we are. I've got the camera above all set up, so let's uh, dive in. Right, this is the jig. Um, you can see it on the top camera up there. This is the, the, the mortise and tenon jig, as you can see. I've modified it a little bit. I, I put this... Uh, piece of ply on here um, that sits on the side of my bench and I can clamp it onto the side of the bench when I want to use it. Um, obviously I've, got, I've modified it so I've got a little bit of dust extraction and here you can see this is the, the, the setup bar and you use this setup bar and I'll, I'll put it on the top camera up there. There's the setup bar and it comes up with all these graduations of what is actually on the to set this machine up. I call it a machine, but it's not exactly as a, as a jig. But uh, you use that in conjunction with putting it on there and you get a center line with your wood that you're actually clamped into the bottom. And that's how you more or less how you set it up. 
but I will be doing a video on setting up this jig and everything else and actually doing a couple of mortars and tenons so you can actually see uh, this thing actually in action so don't worry too much about you know oh this looks a bit complicated because it's not that complicated to actually set up and use so we, we, we will be going that through this in a future video um, as you can see there's a setup bar for setting up the pieces of wood um, you can see that up on the top top of camera up there and I'll tur turn this up and how you clamp your um, wood actually in the into the jig it goes underneath here underneath these clamps and these obviously are removable um, for different widths of wood and these ones here allow you to put the wood along there to do in mortises now all this will get like all this will get explained in a future video i promise you because this machine it all um, jig is quite easy to use now getting moving this plate around so it sets it up is quite easy as well and i'll show you on the top top camera again you undo these here undo those and and it allows this plate to go in and out so it, you can actually set it up with a center line that you actually stick on your piece of wood again which will be explained and you do those up to wherever you need to and then there's two clamps underneath here that hold and you can just about see that i'll push that forward so you can actually see um, there's two clamps underneath here as you can see just about sticking out there and you undo those undo those and hang on they're a bit tight cool. that one, don't know what a bit tight when i used it right and, the, and that allows these then these plates here to to move in and out so it sets up the actual width of your tenon so it's quite easy to use and obviously i put got the dust extraction so it takes some well it takes some of the dust away but not all of it you still have a little bit coming out the front but you cannot stop 100 percent of your dust so there we are quick overview of the mortise and tenon jig from trend now i don't believe for one moment that um trend actually made this i think it's just got their their sticker on it like many things these days um but you know all power to them if they if they invented it good on them but i don't believe that they actually invented this but I, i'm not 100 percent sure on that and i so if if they have then well done well done trend so there we are quick roundup of the mortise and tenon jig from trend now if you want to contact me you can contact me on the usual social media channels now they're they're, they're coming across here there we go and subscribe to the chat to the channel and uh, if you like this video please click on that like button anything helps me out you know with and please subscribe all the all the rest of it and uh, and i will see you again on the next one bye bye